Welcome to Yoga to Improve Flexibility and Strength, a harmonious blend of dynamic movements and gentle stretching, ultimately building greater flexibility and strength. Okay, let's start up at the top of the mat. If you're in version free, set up your props for your sun salutations and find your Tadasana, feet under the hips, legs slightly engaged, and just take some nice, easy, gentle breaths here. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, Hasta Tadasana, finding a lot of length. And then exhale, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Release the left heel. We're going to step it back and face the side edge of your mat. We're going to do a few goddess repetitions here. So inhale to star pose. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, extend the arms and legs. Exhale, goddess. A few more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale and bend. This is a great way to warm ourselves up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step to the back of your mat and find Tadasana. Inhale, arms come overhead, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold again, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, hands come to the heart. This time, release the right heel. Step back, face the side of your mat. Inhale to star pose. Exhale, goddess. Now, as you do this, you'll start to feel a whole body start to warm up. Your shoulders, your thighs, your hamstrings, everything. Your breath starts to get more coordinated. Just keep going here. One more, goddess. Inhale, come up, and then exhale, step to the top of your mat. Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, full sun salutation this time. Step it back to plank. Then lower down, knees and chest, or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra, or Up Dog. Exhale, press back, either Downward Facing Dog or Child's Pose, your choice. Staying here for a few breaths. Now, as you're here, allow yourself to check in with your breath. Feel your heart rate. Notice what's happening in the body, the mind. And just take this moment for yourself. On your inhale, lift the head. Exhale, where you need to, find your way to the top of the mat, lifting halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Step back with that left foot. We're going to come into crescent pose. So you can soften the back knee a little bit. Inhale, the arms up by the ears. As you exhale, twist to your right over the front leg, arms open, shoulder height. Inhale, come back to crescent, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist again to the right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come through center. Nice big back bend here. And then exhale, shift forward, warrior three. Find that balance. Arms can go wherever you'd like them to go, whatever is more supportive for you. And inhale, come up to vertical, bend the floating leg, find Lord of the Dance. Heel to the sit bone, pull the front ribs and the front belly in. Extend the right arm out in front of your nose and find your depth of the pose for today. Make sure that you're still breathing. Now from here, we're going to gently release the hand off the foot. Don't let it drop and float it back to warrior two. So hips will open, heel toe that back foot further for more depth. On your inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reach it up and back for reverse warrior. Maybe deepening a little bit more into that front knee, lengthening through the right side of the body. 
inhale come up through vertical exhale extended side angle you can start with the forearm crossing the thigh other arm can stay in the waist sweep up over the ear wherever you need it to be if you find that's not deep enough for the hips and the side body then feel free to bring the hand down to the inside of the front foot block or to the mat just breathe here Gently release, and let's come into regular plank. You can have your hands on the blocks or on the mat, either way. We're gonna roll into a side plank on the edges of the feet. Lifting the top arm, come back to regular plank, and then go to the second side. It doesn't matter which way you went first. Come back through center. Let's take side plank again and challenge yourself by lifting that top leg. Bring that leg back down, regular plank, transition to the other side, and see if you can lift that top leg, float it up. Bring it back down, regular plank, and vinyasa. Knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Again, your choice, wherever your energy lies right now. Just stay here and breathe. Moving on to the second side, inhale, lift the head, and find your way up to the top of the mat, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, arms overhead, exhale, hands come to the heart. Let's release the right foot, step it back, find crescent pose on the second side. Once you're there, let the arms extend up by the ears. On your exhale, twist to the left over that front leg. Inhale, come back through center, find even more length through the waist, and then exhale, twist again. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, through center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, through center. Nice big back bend here. And then exhale, shift forward, warrior three. Arms go wherever they're most supportive to you. Make sure the top leg is energized all the way to the toenails. On your inhale, come up through vertical. You're going to bend the back knee so the heel comes to the sit bone, Lord of the Dance. Lower belly pulls up and in, knees are together, front ribs lace together, and then extend the left arm out in front of the eyes. You can take a mudra here with the fingers if you like, or not, whatever you're comfortable with. And then move into this pose as deep as you would like to in this moment. Just make sure that you continue to breathe. Gently release the hand and the foot. Keep that foot floating in the air. Gently lower down, warrior two. Heel toe that back foot for the depth that you need in the pose. And we will stay here in warrior two and just breathe. Building that strength in the quads, allowing the stretch through the inner thighs, strength through the arms, the core, and strength in your endurance. Inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reach it up and back. Reverse, warrior. Inhale, come back up through a vertical. Exhale, extended side angle. Start with the forearm crossing the thigh, other arm to the waist or up over the head. And then if it feels like you can go a little deeper on the side, feel free to lower the left hand to the inside of the front foot. Top arm goes where it's most comfortable for you. From here, gently release and find plank, either on your blocks or on the mat, whatever's more comfortable and more stable. And roll into your side plank. 
whichever side you like. Stay here and breathe. Come back to regular plank and then switch sides. Regular plank, first side of the side plank and then float that top leg up. Bring it back down, regular plank, switch to the second side, floating that top leg up. Bring it back down, regular plank, and move through your vinyasa. Exhaling, knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog or child's pose, your choice. Staying here, checking in with yourself, with your breath, your thoughts, and your body. On your inhale, lift the head, exhale where you need to. Move any props off to the side. And we're going to move into pigeon pose. So extend your right leg back behind you. Give a little press through the heel and then slide that knee forward. We want the knee to be in front of the hip, either behind the wrist or a little bit wider, wherever you feel the best sensation in your hip. Let's keep it lifted for now. So you get a little bit of an arch in the back. Maybe come up to fingertips if that's available. And now if you would like to, feel free to fold forward. Now if you are inversion free, just please be very mindful here that you keep your head in line with the heart or above it. Even the simplest forward fold can turn into an inversion. And if you want to learn more about what those are and how to avoid them, click the link in the description for more information. On your inhale, lift the head, come up onto your hands. Exhale, shift and sit onto that right hip. Come into a side Janushashasana. Inhale the arms out to your side and then exhale, side bend over the straight leg. The left arm can come to the inside of the leg or directly on the shin bone, whatever is more comfortable for your shoulder. And the top arm can press the thigh down or lift up over the head for additional intensity. On your inhale, come all the way up through vertical. Exhale, let everything go. Take the straight leg, cross it over the bottom leg or the bent leg for half Lord of the Fish. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to your left and hug that top leg into your chest. Inhale, bring the eyes to the front. Exhale, gently release the legs. And we're going to take pigeon pose on the other side. So bring that left knee forward. So it's behind the wrist. Or maybe it's a little further out to the side. Whatever your hip can do right now. Enjoy the back bend. Lifting yourself up. Maybe you're on fingertips. Maybe you are using a lot of props. Whatever it is that you need today. Whenever you feel ready, go ahead and fold forward. On your inhale, lift the head, come all the way up onto your hands. And as you exhale, sit down onto that left hip, turning to face the side edge of your mat for a side Janushashasana. Inhale the arms out to your sides to a T, and then exhale, side bend over that straight leg. Now the top arm or your left arm can either press the thigh down or sweep up over the head. Whatever gives you a nice, enjoyable stretch through the side body. On your inhale, come back up through vertical. Exhale, cross that straight leg over the bottom leg so that you have half Lord of the Fish. Inhale, lengthen upwards, and then exhale, twist to your right. Hug or tuck the elbow around the thigh.
Nice gentle breath here in the twist. On your inhale, the head comes to the front. Exhale, gently release the twist. Untangle those legs. Let them extend out. You can turn towards the back of your mat now. Shake out the legs. We'll move into a reclined position. So go ahead and roll down through the spine. Hug the knees into your chest. And you can do anything you like here. You can stay in stillness. You can rock gently side to side. You can roll your ankles and your feet around. Whatever feels nice for you right now. It's okay to let the eyes close here as well. And on your own time, allow the legs to extend long under you for Shavasana. Bring the legs about mat width apart. Let them fall to their natural rotation. Arms by your sides at a comfortable angle, shoulder height or lower. Palms flip upward. Eyes remain closed. And if it's chilly where you are, you can bring a blanket over you to stay warm. Allow yourself to take rest in stillness.
start to deepen your breath. Find energy in your fingers, toes, wrists, ankles, hands, and feet. Bring the legs together under you, arms extend overhead for a big full body stretch. And hug the knees in towards the chest or step them halfway up the mat and gently rock from side to side. Roll onto your right side into fetal position using the bottom arm as a pillow for your head. Gently press yourself up to a seated position, eyes remain closed. And either press the palms together at your heart center or bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly. Take the opportunity here to check in with how you feel after this practice. How do you feel physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, and spiritually? Now take a few moments for some gratitude. What are you thankful for in this moment? And give yourself a few reasons why. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Avoiding going upside down in your yoga classes? Avoid common mistakes that are made when staying head over heart to accelerate your transformation. Click the link in the comments to learn more and to get my free guide on how to modify common poses.